Okay, in this video we're going to cover the Hot Jet 3 500 gallon vacuum jet. This is our new unit that vacuums and jets, hydro excavates, and power washes. So we have the Hot Jet 2 power unit right here in the front. Now this is a hot or cold unit. There's the heater system. And here are the controls right here. I bang the camera going in. We've got two automatic shutoffs here, safety shutoffs on this side, one on the other side. All the rear controls are right here, the, the lights, side light, strobe lights. We'll kind of show those a little bit in action. One thing we really like is night lights. Half of our time's done work at night. So we kind of will turn those off. Got tacks for both engines. Uh, we are part of the buy board by the way, national group, supports the cities and counties and school districts of America. Uh, you've got your all your side controls. You've got throttle control here, PSI gauge here. You've got the uh, wash down on and off right here. On and off for your 300 foot hose drill. Now that'll clean from two to 12 inch lines. This hose here is 500 feet of half inch and the control for it's right as well right here next to the hose drill. that's on off off is against the grain on is up with the grain there's where you're on you want to start everything in the off position now both these hose drills have full hydraulic controls and you can ease or ease in ease out full speed in and out nice smooth controls uh, this unit also has soap injection, which is really unique to the industry. Right here's our easy start valve, as you'll see on uh, our, all our equipment. That right there is the easy start position. Lift it up. These hose reels are live. Okay. Uh, again, this is an overview, uh, non-operating video. Here's your guide side to side for your half inch reel. This reel here works right here. This is your 3 8 That locks out just that easy. Attach your nozzle right here, whichever nozzle you're looking at. Uh, storage and bypass hose up here. If you want to keep it running between jobs, they hook in right here. Got your drain system here, fast fill. Going up the line. These are 220 gallon each, the tanks here. Got some of the, we're doing a big trade show. I want to take a minute and videotape this gun storage right here. So there's your pressure gun storage. We've got holding brackets for the digging tubes, which I'm making a quick little video of. Got your big drain here, got a holding tube right here. So we've got two of them if you want to use two different sizes. Here's your sight glass for how full you are. Decanter if you want to use it. Uh, drain here. And your master fill valves right there. That's full hydraulic control. Uh, we've made sure this opens fast. Let's go ahead and we're going to open it here. Now there's your lift. Let's go ahead and open that uh, up. We've We've detached all the clamps, obviously, or it wouldn't have opened. So, always detach before you open. Let's go ahead and lift that can up. Now we've got six foot cords running out to the controls. You can see how nice those are. Nice box right there. This is that rear light on the back that we talked about. Now check out the angle of which this will dump. It is rather amazing. I'm going to stand back so we can get a good video of it dumping. Pretty much there, right? Is that? Yep, that's it. Okay, so up inside here, we've got a three part washout system. And I'm going to zoom in on it best we can. We'll get a little light here. So the bottom is a switchback blade from side to side 
washer. They call it the switchback blade, but it's we hook the washer to it, and you can blast this out with cold water, hot water. One of the huge problem areas in this is dumping this tank. Now look at that angle. So you got a fabulous angle, almost parallel. Now I want to show how that washout hooks up. Now we've got the, the valve right here and it goes around the, our, our flush system. So I'm going to hook that up real quick. We use our uh, wash down hose reel and this, this hose right here can also be used to clean the small drains. So I'm going to take out a little hose here, a little slack on that. This hooks right here. And kind of see that connection. Boom, you're washing out, you're off. So that's, you know, you'd want to turn that on after you've hooked it up, of course. That's why you got to fall safe, safety in operations, right? Got a little bugger getting that off. Okay, we're going to walk around to the other side of this unit and Here's your controls for the burner, if you want heat or not. Great access to everything. Notice you can pull these panels off real easy and you've got great access. These panels come, come right off here. Again, the next pump, easy to poke your head right in, check oil, drain oil, get to the filters. Here's the vac pump. We're going to go up and show the size of this pump up in here. you got a deck that you can walk on. There's the Gardner Denver vac system. We've got four relief valves on this pump. Triple V-belt driven. And we've also run the 35 horse, 37 horse, I'm going to jump down here, 37 horse Vanguard motors. All these are Vanguard motors all made by Toyota. Here's the other tank, the other saddle tank. So there's our walkover. Any questions, call us anytime. Thanks.